Hi everyone. We do have some schools who are in the situation where they are able to connect to their school network, they are able to access the internet, um, you know, with the web browsers and so forth, but unfortunately um, they cannot download any apps through any of the app stores straight onto their um, Active Connect device. So this is usually due to security um, reasons that have been imposed on them by their governing body or um, perhaps their internet has just been so abysmally slow that the download is so painful and it doesn't actually ever happen. So the good news is we have an alternative way you can load apps onto your Active Connect. So let's take a look at how to do this. Okay, so um, apologies that I'm doing this in a series of still images. You'll see shortly why that is. Okay, so the type of file that the apps are for Android uh, devices are APK files. So that is the file name. Um, and what you need to do is find an APK downloader. So you're going to need a computer, it might be your laptop or um, your computer at home. And you can see here a screenshot of my MacBook. I simply opened the Chrome browser and I've opened APK Monk, which is an APK downloader site. Um, uh, through trial and error um, I've discovered this one and I quite like it. It's reasonably reliable. Um, the apps work and the site doesn't have any dodgy links or ads on it so that's why I, I choose to use this one but there are dozens if not hundreds of APK do downloaders out there. Um, you'll notice that in the search um, bar at the top there I have typed Microsoft Word because I specifically know the name of that app I've typed that in however you can do vague or topic um, searches and it will come up with suggested apps for you that you can then click on to reach this next phase um, which is to be able to download that okay so somewhere on the screen there will be a button that says click download or download APK or click to download and um, this is kind of important as well okay uh, right so essentially you're going to download that APK file to your computer it will most likely download to your downloads folder unless you've chosen to send your download somewhere else. You're going to find that APK file and then you're going to save that file to a USB drive, all right, a memory stick. Now bear with me while I just swap to um, a different image here under downloads. Okay. Now I'm showing you this because it is a drawing of our Active Connect and in particular I want you to look at the side view here and you'll notice that there are two USB slots. This one here is labelled simply USB. That is where the touch USB cable should be plugged in. So that is the cable that runs from the touch USB port on your active panel into the USB slot of the active connect, your little silver active connect box. If your touch is accidentally plugged into this one over here, take it out and plug it into this one. That is because if you've plugged it into this one by mistake, you're going to have touch not working properly on your panel. Some weird funky things go on when it's plugged into there. This one 
that's labeled USB OTG or USB on the go is for your memory sticks or other USB devices that you may need to use. So at the moment I have currently plugged into that slot a USB microphone so that we can have sound with this recording and that is why I'm unable to show you the live demonstration of what everything looks like when you're loading the app because I thought it was kind of important we had an explanation and sound to go along with the picture. Okay, so let's move on and have a look at what this will look like. Um, now, I'm going to talk about something else first actually. When you plug a USB into your USB OTG slot, you should get prompted somewhere in the middle of the screen, a box will pop up saying, will you like to open this USB? On your Active Connect, you already have a file explorer that I'm circling here, and it's just simply called Explorer. If, like me, you're quite a visual person, and if you've watched the What Apps Do I Recommend video, ES File Explorer is something that I've recommended, and this is quite a good visual explanation of why I have loaded an additional File Explorer. Um, so without further ado, let's go to the screenshots and have a look at what these look like. Okay, so I've plugged my USB into my USB OTG and this is what I see when I open the USB using the Explorer app. So this is the one that comes with the Active Connect, that orange Explorer app. This is showing me everything that is on my USB stick. Okay. Here it is, here's my Lexa USB stick. I've got a folder of Android apps and here are all the other things, all the other junk that I have on my USB stick. Now if I tap on my Android apps and open that up, and I do apologize, I should have had one more uh, screenshot in between here. Um, you'll see all of the things, all of my apps my APK files that I have downloaded onto that memory stick and you'll notice that a lot of them start the same way. That's probably due I think to the websites I've downloaded them from. Other ones have got their names as you can see there. So I find the APK file that I want to load and in this instance I've chosen a collage art app not Microsoft Word, sorry, I should have probably done all my screenshots of collage art. I changed my mind halfway through because I realized I already have Word loaded. And here it's prompting me, I should be reading all of this of course, it prompts me to the next page and then it will say install. Okay, and that is it. It will install onto my computer. Now if you're like me and you're a visual person and you've decided you will use ES File Explorer, you will see something like this. So I'll just grab my thingy here. So I've clicked on this option on the side, which has brought up all of the things that are on my memory stick. Okay, so here's that Android app folder that we were looking at just before and there's all of the other stuff that was on that memory stick as well. So when I click on my Android app folder, I see this and this is one of the reasons I prefer to use ES File Explorer because I get all of these icons and I can really easily, clearly, visually see what's what. Okay, it doesn't matter that these have all got the same beginning, okay, I can see that icon and it helps me load things a lot easier. So that's my personal preference. So if I clicked on that um, option, here I've got the option to install it. Obviously I will click that and here we go. I've got that same screen where I'm prompted 
to go to the next screen and install. Okay, if I click the install, it will actually install the app onto my Active Connect device. Now, to find the app, I can swipe from the left or I can use this icon down on the bottom left of my screen to view my apps and what do you know I've already been in <laughs> in this category here so under media it's put my collage art app okay so hopefully you can see there is a light at the end of the tunnel you are able to download apps if you can't use your Google Play or Promethean store or any of the app stores that you may have loaded onto your Active Connect, um, you simply need a web browser on a computer, choose an APK downloader site, search for your apps, save them to a memory stick and load them onto your Active Connect through the USB OTG slot. Clear as mud. Hopefully I didn't make you sick with all the pictures and hopefully you were able to follow all of that. Good luck.